after what feels like, I swear, like an eternity, we finally have not just our first trailer, but really our first look at all at the Venom sequel, Let There Be Carnage. They kind of just threw it all down at the same time. And what was more shocking for me is that it's coming out September of this year. So it's literally dropping in four months. And knowing that the last Venom movie, I remember that they dropped the trailer literally while still in the middle of post-production. I swear it was like a year beforehand to really get people hyped up. I'm just surprised that they had the nerve or the guts to drop this trailer so close to the release date of the movie. Um, and this is the first time that we're ever going to see Carnage in physical form and live action form in a movie. And I'm as excited as anybody. I'll spare you guys the details, but if you follow my channel, you know that I'm an avid, avid Spider-Man fan. I have since I was literally three years old. Um, and since I was seven, Carnage, Venom, and Spider-Man were my three all-time favorite MCU characters. Or not MCU, just Marvel characters in general. We're going to go ahead and react to my thoughts on this trailer. We're going to do a step-by-step -step just so I can kind of give you an idea of what my thoughts are because it's, it's also a little bit mixed. I say either, I say either, I say neither, and I say neither, neither, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Ta-da! Catch up. Excuse me. Yummy. Okay, so this intro, a lot of people are having a lot of fun with. Something that's noting is one of the controversial things about the original Venom movie is they didn't seem to know what genre they wanted it to be. Part of it was like horror vibe. The other part was like comedy. And the other part was like buddy cop. And then it was superhero movie. Here's something that's making me nervous about just this opening scene is it feels like they've decided to lean hard into the comedy aspect of it. I don't know. It, like in my head... That's just not what Venom should be. I know that they had some fun with the buddy cop thing in, in the original Venom movie, but that's just not what they should be leaning into me. They should really be leaning into more of the darkness of it, not necessarily the violence or the gruesomeness, but the darkness of Venom. And I don't know, the whole singing thing seems a little gimmicky. This is, I know, nitpicking, it seems like, but the song they had Venom singing along to for the comedic effect and the joke, I it was well-intentioned, but it was weird. Like, it was a weird song to be singing along to. Like, nobody knows that song. If they could have had it to a more well-known song, well -known song, or I don't know, something that that's more catchy to hear him listen to, it was just a weird choice to me. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Function hi, Mrs. Chen. <laughs> he says hi. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever uh, do. Of course, we gotta I mean, use an older song. I'm thinking about you, Eddie. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number. Because you and I are the same. Every decision we ever make. Who do we leave behind? And how do we leave them? Waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. It's been a long time. Miss you so much. Something, a trend that I do kind of like kind of randomly in trailers is you'll notice that a lot of trailers coming out now will specifically explicitly say only in theaters in the middle say like this September only in theaters or this year only in theaters and I think that's pretty cool I don't know for me as like I've spent the last year of coronavirus really afraid that theaters were just going under and I, I still have my fears especially with moves on like Warner Brothers and HBO Max to sign all of their theater movies to be streaming same day I've been really concerned about the welfare of theaters and how they're going to fare after this so it's really exciting to see big budget movies um, like A Quiet Place Part 2 the new trailer they just dropped where they, they really emphasize the only in theaters and that's what this did and I don't know that's a random thing I think is cool Um, the song choice for this I I don't know first time i did it i was in the break room of my work and i wasn't okay because you couldn't hear the dark bass undertones that they added to it to make it darker so it just seemed like they were just playing this song i don't know what it is i've heard it a bajillion times it's, it was just too happy go lucky i didn't like what they were trying to do kind of like a guardians of the galaxy-esque feel the more i hear it like in headphones i realize that they do undercut it with a lot of dark tones and it makes it better and i think it's more appropriate for the tone and then lastly here one of my biggest dislikes about the original Venom was their choice in Carnage at the very end with uh, Woody Harrelson. And I have to admit, 
I, I think so far, I may be speaking prematurely here, but so far, this is a better choice than I was initially thinking. They obviously redid his hair. They took off that stupid red wig that he had. And he's actually playing a, a, an insane, crazy killer, Cletus Cassidy, pretty, pretty convincingly. Soon come chaos. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You're gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. So Carnage looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with the design of Carnage. I knew they'd do good with it because I thought Venom also looked really good uh, in general. But yeah, Carnage looks like everything he absolutely should. And I have no doubt he's going to kill it. And again, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how good I think Woody Harrelson's going to do in the part. I like the reoccurring characters that they have, like Mrs. Chen, how they kind of develop that. That's fun. They seem to, in general, have a lot of the same play settings. It really feels like it's the same world as the last movie. So what's my thoughts on the movie overall? Um, I think I would have liked to see a little bit of a different trailer. I can't tell you exactly what I wanted to see. The more I see this one, the more I do like it. But in general, I think the Venom trailers that came out in 2018 were much better than this one is. This is a character we've waited to see come into fruition on the big screen since he was created 20 or 30 years ago or something. I'm right in the middle. I'm in the middle ground. They could prove me right. They could prove me wrong. I really hope this turns out to be a good movie. I hope this one can be better and not follow the typical sequel trope of being worse because that would be, that would be pretty disappointing. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later guys.